Hey everybody, this is Dan from Japan. This beautiful place is, um, well, I would say it's sort of my spiritual headquarters. This is this is really inspiring, okay? I, I'm, I'm the type of person that gets inspired by great views. I have been working on a project, actually a family, a suite designed on Ergo. My main focus here is to bring more commercial adoption to Ergo. And so what I've been doing is um, I've been putting together a business. Um, and so without further ado, let me introduce you to Zengate Global. So Zengate Global Limited is incorporated in Dublin, Ireland. Um, the reason why I did it is because Ireland is a very good jurisdiction for compliance, for exposure to the EU. It's a whitelisted jurisdiction, so there are just a lot of different uh, positives uh, to incorporate in Ireland. Now, what is Zengate? Well, it's what I'm going to be doing to create a commercial arm for the Ergo ecosystem. Um, I believe that it is needed in the Ergo ecosystem. Um, I believe that we need a wide commercial adoption. And with this new vehicle, with this new company, what I'm going to be doing is just that. I'm going to be bringing commercial adoption to Ergo, utilizing all of my contacts, utilizing all of my resources, uh, and creating um, national level and international level um, uh, adoption through uh, various different software products. What I'm building is a uh, suite of products that is uh, ergo-centric and that is utilizing the EUTXO model uh, as well as other tools in the ergo and EUTXO ecosystem, uh, tools from Cardano, tools from other blockchains as well, uh, to create a very robust solution uh, that can be adopted on a national and international level. What that means is it gives me the ability to create several different, uh, several different um, product verticals. Welcome to my above ground layer, aka my home. And the reason why I wanted to show you that beautiful place is that it's not just my spiritual headquarters, but there's also the Zengate Global spiritual headquarters. That is where the idea of Zengate Global was born. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the products that are being designed at Zengate. Each one of these products is aimed for mass adoption of Ergo. These products are going to be Ergo-centric. I will be utilizing technologies like Ergo NFTs, uh, the Rosen Bridge, as well as other trustless bridges being built uh, right now on Ergo by the core team, uh, plus uh, all the other tools that are available in our beautiful toolbox at Ergo. Again, a lot of opportunity, as I always say, and I am going to utilize it. The first product, which is in its research phase right now, is called Siberian Ecosystem as a Service, a geo-anchored metaverse, a national level metaverse, that will actually be a digital representation of the jurisdictional map of the particular country or region where, it's, where it gets rolled out, that will create unique opportunities for government services, for various traceability solutions, as well as uh, tourism uh, opportunities and many other uh, many other opportunities that come with having a national metaverse and having a geo geo specific metaverse. My aim with Siberia is to onboard countries to create national metaverses using ergo technologies and ergo NFTs, and to essentially bring on millions of users uh, using those technologies. For example. If we were to roll out this technology in, say, the country of Georgia, and we were to onboard the land deed registry of Georgia onto this particular product, which essentially means that we're going to be onboarding several million users that can potentially uh, utilize other services that are built within the national metaverse, just to give you the scope of this product's rollout. The next product that is being researched right now is called Solaris Portal. So what Solaris is, is an SAS white label service designed for SME, so small to mid-sized businesses, 
to be able to create their own blockchain-based solutions without having to code, without having to worry about the technology part too much, really without having to worry what about what is under the hood. Uh, the idea here is, is to create a kind of a drag and drop point and click user experience uh, where the small and mid-sized businesses can create their own traceability solutions, their own identity solutions, their own administrative solutions using this product. Uh, an end-to-end -end solution, something that is powerful, yet again, does not require coding. So, for example, this will be attractive to small and mid-sized businesses that did not have the opportunity before, did not know how to code, didn't have the capacity to expand into blockchain, just didn't know how to use the blockchain for their business. They heard about it. They know about it. They just don't know how to utilize it. Well, this is their entry point into using blockchain for their business and a very low barrier of entry is going to be very cost effective again with the use of ergo technology and just to give you another idea of the scope i believe that this will onboard tens of thousands of businesses and not hundreds of thousands of businesses uh, that are looking to utilize these solutions and all of these businesses will be utilizing ergo technology. So I'm also very excited about this. But once again, this is still in research phase. Now, the product that is currently being actively developed at Zengate Global. I would like to introduce you to the Palmyra Commodity Dex. Palmyra is a tokenized commodity dex coupled with a highly customizable traceability and logistics solution that is going to be utilized in tandem with these tokenized commodities that will be bought and traded on the platform. For example, if you want to have a more expedient logistics chain, if you want to have a more detailed traceability solution, if you want to have automatic stock updates, uh, if you want to have other custom functionality in the traceability solution, if you want to have uh, a greener logistics chain, if you want to have a more cost-effective logist logistics chain, many other, uh, there are going to be many opportunities for businesses to really customize things and to make it their own. So what essentially will happen is we're going to be onboarding one commodity at a time. Uh, and the reason for that is, is because all commodities are very nuanced. For example, Sri Lankan tea trade is different from Thai gold trade. And that is different from Georgian wine trade, just to give you a few examples. All these have to be very carefully onboarded. Attention to detail must be taken to make sure that these are, in fact, useful, optimal solutions for the current issues that these buyers and sellers face. So what we're trying to do is create a digital representation of the commodity logistics chain within Palmyra so that the onboarding process for the users of this platform is going to have really low barrier of entry. And for that, we're actually utilizing uh, our relationships with various government agencies, with customs agencies, with port authorities, with various ministries, with chambers of commerce of various countries uh, to really work together in creating a very efficient and streamlined process that is going to be an upgrade from the legacy process that they're actually using right now. And it's going to eliminate and create solutions for the inefficiencies in the bottlenecks of that particular process. Now, another tool that is going to be at the disposal of the users is going to be something that's a little bit more close to traditional commodity trading, and that is a tokenized futures option. What essentially that will allow is for vintages to be tokenized and traded on the exchange. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, say the 2022 crop of Georgian wine, of Georgian grapes, is great. So we, we know that that vintage, when it is ready, when it is matured in two to three years, will be highly coveted. For example, if the users of the platform are Georgian wine growers. What they will essentially be able to do is issue a tokenized future 
for the crop and sell it or trade it to other users of the platform. And then when the actual future matures, so after two to three years when the product is ready, that particular future will actually be tradable for the real product. So the intent here is to give the opportunity for the uh, growers to tokenize vintages, to create an extra income income source for them for themselves to secure sales and for the buyers to secure stock uh, to make sure that in two years they can get their stock of this particular vintage because they know now that this is going to be a great vintage uh, and this is transferable across many different commodities not all commodities but many different commodities uh, for example tea uh, for example uh, wheat uh, there's well as other ones. So again, I'm very excited about this particular, uh, this particular functionality. For MVP, we're going to be onboarding one commodity. And the reason for that is, is because we want to make sure that the solution is really fleshed out from beginning to end. Uh, we're going to be cooperating with various government agencies. Uh, we're going to be consulting with them. We're going to be signing MOUs, and we're going to be getting endorsements from these agencies. Uh, we're also going to be working with agencies that will uh, help us bring in business and traffic onto Palmyra and to essentially help us create a product that really these customers want. Not something where you, if you build it, they will come, but building it because you know that they're coming. And again, just to give you an idea, uh, the Sri Lankan, uh, the top three commodities traded in Sri Lanka is a multi-billion dollar export business, multi-billion. And that is just three top commodities. This is Sri Lankan tea, this is Sri Lankan cinnamon, and this is Sri Lankan coconut products. Three commodities coming out of Sri Lanka are in the billions of dollars. So we're essentially tapping into a multi-billion dollar market, which will in turn bring in vast amounts of customers, customers that are looking to expose the products to a wider audience, to a wider global audience, uh, users that would like to be able to have exposure to products to buy from a wider audience. Uh, it will also bring a transparency to the process. Uh, these traceability solutions will be utilizable by the buyers as well for their for their customers for their end users of the product for their buyers, uh, in order to uh, give them uh, give them transparency into how this product ended up in their cup, or uh, in their jewelry, or anywhere else this product is going to be used. Uh, so again, a lot of utility there, a lot of added bonuses, added pluses all around uh, the spectrum of users of this of this particular platform. And what we're also going to be focusing on is not just making this kind of a cold uh, trade medium, uh, like for example, the legacy markets are. Uh, this is going to be very much community driven because a lot of these uh, Growers, a lot of these sellers, and a lot of these buyers are not huge companies. They are SMEs, small and mid sized businesses. Some are big, but some are actually SMEs that take pride in their name, take pride in their vintages, take pride in the fact that, for example, a Sri Lankan family that has owned the tea farm for several generations is producing this phenomenal product. This is important. This is also an important nuance to have, the community aspect. And this is also going to be something that we're going to be concentrating on and making sure that community comes first in this particular platform. Now, I hope that I shed some light on what I've been doing. I know this is a brief video and I will be creating more detailed videos about the products that we are building and are going to be giving you regular updates. And once again, my aim is to bring mass adoption of Ergo and mass adoption of the EUTXO family of blockchains to the mainstream to create a family of products which will not require the user to know what's under the hood 
but it will solve their everyday problems because that is how you gain mass adoption. And I believe that creating products like this is in line with the mission of Ergo, which is blockchain for the everyday people. These are products for everyday people. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope that you follow the development of Zengate and follow the development of all these products that I've spoken about on this video. And I will speak to you soon.